October 29th, everyone. What are the odds that it's on the same day as my anniversary of my first video uploaded on this channel? So if you didn't know, last night, which I missed it, they announced on the Xbox partner thing, the trailer for Phasmophobia on consoles is coming the 29th, and the day before, we're getting the blue blood mood tide, blood tide, whatever it was, blue, what was it, blood tear, blood, whatever it was, the blood moons are coming, though. I, I want to call it the blood tide, but it was blood something else, blood eye or something. Either way, I'm unbelievably excited. We have a release date. We have a date. Now, I'm going to be getting into Maple Lodge. I feel like I have a lot to talk about, so maybe we won't find the ghost immediately, but so there is going to be the update first on the 28th and then which this update actually does have, you know, like the optimizations, like I had said, there's that glowing tree again. Now the breaker's out over here. I'm just going to walk around. I'm going to try and listen to the ghost while I'm walking around here, but I'm just so excited about this. We finally, you know, something I didn't realize. So with this coming out. I finally realized, uh, as much as I, you know, I've been playing this game, and, you know, since I'm dedicating a whole channel to it, I guess I should know about, you know, the development team, so I looked into, like, all the new employees, for one, they've hired, but there was also an interview by, oh, the messy coder, there, I remembered his name, but there was an interview he did with DK, and I had never even heard DK's voice, and for the longest time, I thought DK was the guy in the truck, so no, that's not who DK is. But that interview was really cool because I got to learn a lot more about the game and just kind of how it was developed. And I'm going to talk a lot more about that at some point. But for this video, I just want to again emphasize the whole Halloween update is coming and I'm going to be continuing this fully. I forget there's like a light switch in here. Oh, staff only room. But man, it's it's the blood tear, maybe blood eye. I can't, hold on. Crimson Eye. Oh my god, now I gotta get my thing back up. Okay, I hope we're still good here. It's the Crimson Eye. I don't know why I had such a hard time. I don't even know what I was saying. But either way, we have this big map here to walk through, and I, I wanted to visit this map again to compare it to... Oh god. Oh, it's the Fireflies. I wanted to compare it to uh, Woodwind. I keep forgetting all these names. I mean, here's the Fireflies on this map, which I've never really even noticed, and... Also, I didn't notice there was like a wall out there. Now, when <laughs> I, I did get my opportunity to just kind of walk around here. Now, cursed. Oh, okay. Oh my God. Oh, are you gonna be a poltergeist again? I guess I'll take a photo. I did bring this in here. This moved enough, but did I get it in time? Yes. Okay. This is cool. I like having a campfire ghost here. I've never really spent a lot of time on this map after the rework, and that's why I'm trying to come back to these maps a lot more. Oh, uh, that's not got EMF. But is the breaker on? Okay. Then, as I've been walking around, I don't really have any hiding spots, and I don't know what my sanity is. So, let's take another lap around. There's, like, hiding spots here. I think this is a push door. So, I could go there. Oh, oh I thought that was the bone. Just a dry spot. Okay, I'm just gonna get back to the ghost because um, I did find a couple hiding spots out there, but this should be more than enough to try and get through here. There is a light way here. I wonder if I can... <clears throat> Where's the light switch for this? Oh wait, was that this? Maybe? No? There's a light here. Maybe it's on the pole. Okay, I'm going to just kind of forget about all the update news and stuff. But I'm also kind of learning this map. Like, there's a light here. Shouldn't I be able to turn this on somehow? Oh, here we go. Oh, wow. See, that's cool. I've never even realized that... How do I... How do I... I thought this was just, like, always dark. I didn't even know this had a light. Okay. We know where the ghost is. I guess I'll leave this on in case I need to run through here. But I guess I'm going to actually start this ghost investigation. I guess I could leave that on as well. Now, we know you've been throwing stuff around here. Oh my god, you've really thrown stuff, so... Oh, that was... Maybe I'll go get EMF. Or not EMF, the UV. Also, Jesus, it's really dark in here. I'll turn on my headlight. It's very handy. I don't... Uh, I still haven't even gotten to, like, the Tier 3, the night vision. So, even still, I gotta experience the last updates. I guess that's, you know, what I was saying is... It's just even been so long since I, I haven't even really fully experienced the last update. 
And also still, I have more sanity than I would have on Point Hope. And speaking of average sanity, a photo of the ghost in firelight, so I didn't even really realize what we were dealing with here. But it was banging on something, so maybe I'll go in with the UV for a change, and then just do the salt. And then, oh god, maybe we'll just go for easier stuff, like the writing. I'm gonna take it slow and just kinda have fun with this ghost and just enjoy being on this map. Maybe right here. I don't know if you're actually going through or not. I, don't, I almost don't want to put down so many in case. I'm going to leave one. I'm just going to leave my light here. I really want to go back to that. Tier 2 glow stick. Rather than just laying this down. Now you seem to be a little inactive. Are you here? Your name was Kenneth. I should have brought a uh, lighter. That's the first thing I wanted to do was light this. So I'll definitely bring back a lighter. Alright, Kenneth, maybe I can summon you with the guitar. Give us a sign. You were touching everything. Oh, you know what, though? I don't have my cold breath. So, maybe you're in one of these as your room. Maybe I should just bring that thermo in here. I'm gonna stand here for a second, I guess. Well... I'm not worried about taking sanity. Okay, let's get the thermo in here. This is weird. How can the ghost... I don't trust Romy ghost. I... Oh, oh, see, there's my breath. And now... I thought I heard it riding. Did I hear it riding? No. I heard, like, some twig break, I guess. Okay, see, that's the... I guess we're doing this in the dark. That was... Oh, EMF5. That's this. Where's my... Oh, did I grab the wrong flashlight? Ah. Okay, turn that one off. I guess I'll keep my headlight on. Mm, put in that EMF-5. Okay, we got lucky with that. Even though it was touching a lot, I never really scanned for EMF-5. Now, I'm pretty sure this would have a UV on it. That's the whole point of it being able to bang on it, if it was a UV ghost. But, okay, it can be Obake, which is the fingerprint one. I know I'm getting these backwards, but Obake is the one that can not give fingerprints every time there's a chance and then it also gives the the fake fingerprints or the extra finger I guess oh you walked through here great and I didn't even hear well I gotta get the breaker on I think we know you're not going to be a UV okay let me try and go get the breaker on I can save these photos for later I guess to my point earlier though there was such a big gap between the equipment update and then the only thing we got was point hope. So, for me, I haven't really been thinking about it too much, but really, this game has been like dead. Like, this has been like the darkest period for this game. So, I am sticking with it. I love this game. I, I n totally remember my first feelings of this game, and I know so many people who are playing this game for the first time are going to be just as scared of this game as I was and going to have that same feeling. And it's going to be so many. That was one thing I'd heard is. This game sold 20 million copies just on Steam. So when this goes to console, it's only gonna be even crazier. Look at that, you wrote while I was gone. So I'm actually getting a lot here. Spirit Shade or Miling. I don't think Shade. But <laughs> I'm hoping that now that they finally got the console update, they're and also hiring people, they're gonna have a big focus on updating this game and getting it to where they wanna be because even in that interview, DK mentioned that there's going to be a lot of updates that change this game fundamentally. And he even admitted that once you get used to this game, it really stops being scary. And it just becomes like a puzzle game. But there's still, you know, this thing called Horror 2.0 that's supposed to come out at some point. And they're going to... The way he talked, like, there's still many reworks coming for this game. And he talked about how this game was like an asset flip. And really it is. I haven't played any games really with all these Unity Store assets. But it... <laughs> They're trying to get away from that, and they're going to redo their ghost models, redo so many things to make this game original, and get it to where they want it to be in their final product. So, again, I'm talking about all this stuff, but these are things that I want to pop, that I want to pop back into my head so I can mention them. But we already have two evidence. It doesn't seem to be freezing. Oh, it's not UV. <laughs> Maybe this is just a spirit. Okay, let's get the spirit box in here and try and talk to it. Oh my god, those bowling pins are heavy for you to be able to throw that like that. I guess I'm not worried. I just wanted to talk this episode. So, I'll take a couple photos. I do want to survive, but we need to get our sanity down pretty low. I guess I'll take a photo. 
Oh, one star. That was nothing, is he? Well, okay. I, I have my two deletions used up. So that was, oh, okay, it was this one? <laughs> See, sometimes these just are in a bad spot. You don't get a good photo, so I guess you just gotta be careful where you put them down so they're not obstructed. But again, I'm, I don't even think I'm gonna worry about photos again. I don't think this is a shade with how much it's been touching stuff. So let's go get a thermometer, a smudge stick, and the spirit box to try and talk to it. I just looked at the recording. It feels like I've been talking forever. I mean, it's only been 12 minutes, so I'm still gonna be playing around with this ghost. Oh my god, yeah, we're going down the hunt range, and I need to get down to 25. I really need to learn the new spear, uh, cursed item locations on this map, because I don't really know where they are. I don't think I'm gonna need to play with it. I think I'm just gonna try and get my sanity low enough to where this ghost just hunts on its own. Now, oh, I have this stupid light. I didn't realize... Damn it, I'm so bad at, like, keeping track of my inventory. Again, I'm just so, like, I'm thinking about all this stuff, what's going on with the update, and I watched this hour and 40 minute long interview, so I'm also thinking about that. He came out from back in the hiding spot. Are you waiting for me to try and hide there, dude? And so, I really want this light on. Thank you very much. Okay, but thank you. I actually did want to lose my sanity. So what's this thing? Well, it is cold. It is a nice night. I did, I have to admit, I did restart because I did not want to do it with rain. I wanted to have just one kind of nice visit here. I guess this is the cold area. Let's see if it goes straight up over here, which it does. Well, does it really go cold over here? See, in the tents it's warm. I bet if I walk in here it'll be warm too. I thought this was a black tent, but it's green. Strange. I guess I never put my light on it enough to realize. Yeah, I heard you over here again. Well, huh. I think this is a spirit. Is we him? Oh. Okay, thank you. Are you here? Are you friendly? Are you here? Are you friendly? That's another thing I learned was the... The difference. Well, the, not really the exact differences, but... It, oh, so yeah. Okay, thank you, spirit. But yeah, it's... uh. Let me just go to it. Actually, turn this off first. If you go to audio, no, go game. Oh, it's Vosk. But they said they were moving to Vivox. Vivox. But I, so then Vosk. Okay, well, now I'm all confused. Dude, I, my lights. Oh my god. This is where you just run. See, that's, sometimes on a bigger map, you can just run and get away. I'm just gonna keep going. I mean, I can hide here, right? Okay, okay, let's just hide here. This is a weird hiding spot. Oh god, I don't like it at all. Look how open this is. Okay, well, if we smudge the spirit, then it's gonna give us a lot of extra time. I do want to... get these objectives done. So, sanity, oh my god, how did it trying my sanity so fast from that one event and then I don't know it's just a spirit we need a photo so where would the summoning circle be maybe out in the cabin and then a firelight huh I guess I could take sanity I mean I, I really could just look for cursed item but I guess for this visit I'm not gonna worry about the cursed item because I'm gonna have to run around the whole map I wish the cursed item was like right at the beginning but I think it's in the cabin Okay, I... that was the problem here. I didn't have my smudge. I hear my EMF going off. Okay, see, I'm cycling through my inventory this time. I'm gonna... Okay, I'm gonna run. Ah, you ass! Time to go adventure in the dark again. At least, I, I mean, I can... this is a hiding spot, I know it's locked. I really love this, though. It's not often that you get to just, like, run away from the ghost. That breaker's so loud, I can't hear. Hiding spot in here? No. Where's this ghost? Hiding spot in here. Is this a hiding spot? Yes. Okay, I'll, I'll take it. Is there a chance that that... Oh, no, it's still flashing over there. It's definitely haunting. Oh, that is so creepy. I shouldn't be sitting out here. I'm going back in. 
Well, I don't know how- I could try and get a photo of the ghost while doing this, but also I might just not worry about it. I mean, this is unique enough, trying to run from the ghost like this. I wish I had more to do other than- oh, but you know what? Let's smudge it, or try to, in such a big area. Let's smudge it, get those three minutes, and then maybe with the activity I'll get some kind of photo. Please, let me out. But I'm gonna try and get the photo here, and then I'll bring in a candle as well. And also, I need to light that. See, I never even did this. I wanna... See, actually, if it blows out, I don't even need a candle, because it'll blow out the fire, so maybe I'll just try and get it to blow out the campfire. It's okay. I want smudges. But do I go for two crucifixes? Well, I mean, if I smudge the ghost, I'm gonna go for two smudges, because, right, I want to smudge at least once. Actually, let's just go for all smudges. And as I turn the corner, it's dark again. Alright. I have only my headlight on this time. I really have a hard time keeping track of my headlight and my main light. I'm gonna run through here with the smudge and hope that somehow I'm near it. Now it hunts, obviously. That was a waste. But I'm gonna go take the long way around to the breaker, and also try and keep track of if it's hunting. Okay, <laughs> I gotta remember that the lights go out after a hunt. I don't, again, I'm just like, maybe it's because I'm on Maple Lodge, but I'm getting really thrown off on keeping track of this ghost. I thought I was on a light. Are you hunting? I actually think that smudge worked. But I, since I'm not really near the ghost, I'm not gonna get an event, so please. Was it Kenneth again? Yeah, Kenneth Shawcross, please. Give us a sign. So what photos do I have? I actually I never took a photo of this. See, I'm again, this game, I went into it just being like, I wanna talk and just, you know, talk about phasmophobia, really. But also, yeah, I had fun on this map. I love running away from the ghost like that. <gasps> Like this. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Why? Why am I always. I, I had to think it was a hunt, didn't I? That's what I wanted. I wanted him to just show up and let me take a photo. Uh, we have, like, well, maybe like one minute now. I mean, at least we know it's a spirit. It's definitely not a shade. Wait, we got the spirit box. Yeah, and I just never put it in. Hello, can, can I serenade you? Is anyone here? Oh, it's a nice photo of the guitar. I just wanted to know what kind it was. Are you here? You had to do one thing. Oh! Toss the marshmallow sticks. That's not appearing though. See, that sounded like it was to my right. I'm gonna take a photo of <laughs> nothing. Alright, I guess we only have a little bit more time. I don't really want to drop my smudge. Ooh. Again, I forget about the campfire. Okay, there we go. That's something I need to do. I'm sitting here trying to, like, accomplish something. Photo of the ghost. I just saw that. Again, you know, thinking about the interview, DK did say each ghost is random, and he talked about how it's hard to have different ghost types that, you know, don't just immediately give away the ghost, and that really is, like, one of the most unique things about this game, is that you can have a ghost like this spirit that's throwing a lot of stuff, and it feels like a poltergeist, but... Oh god, okay, now we're really... Okay, maybe I should just, like, actually smudge and try and... get away that way. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, turn off my light. Are you over here? Oh, surely you see me. Oh god, okay, now you do. <laughs> Don't run, just save your running. Let's try and get him in this alleyway. <sighs> oh no, I wanted him to turn around. Maybe he'll check the bathrooms? So he might be, because he saw me a bit, so he's a little faster, I think. I hear him checking doors, though. Hide in here. Is it over? No, it's not over. I'm gonna look at that light. He's gonna see me in here. Okay. Well, I blew out the firelight. <laughs> the big firelight in the middle of the camp. Okay. See, there's the smoke still rolling. Let me see if I can get out of here. I think I'll have enough time. Oh my god, it's so dark. Please. 
<laughs> but again, with this game, I really just wanted to c come in here and talk about the update and stuff and just get all excited about it because we finally have the date. And again, it's on the 29th, which is the the first video anniversary. I technically made this channel in 2022, which just goes to show how long I've wanted to be, be doing this. But my first upload of Phasmophobia was on October 29th, and the console update will be coming out October 29th this year. So, I'm just ex unbelievably excited, and I'm going to be with this game. As I have said, this game went through a huge dry spell. This game has kind of got a lot of shit, but I, this game will evolve into something even crazier than it already was. And I'm telling y'all, this is the old version of Phasmophobia. Let's put it this way. The game we're playing right now, this is old Phasmophobia. One day, we'll look back and be like, man, this is what the game was like. Well, okay, we got two objectives and the ghost right, and we're on a medium map. We're probably still gonna make a good amount of money with how this game is set up right now. That's another thing, like, they're gonna redo the photo systems. They're gonna redo pretty much everything. Yeah, it's still 1,300. I didn't even expect to get, like, 800. Mm -hmm. Let's just find out. I don't think the spirit has any abilities, nope. And it was in the blue tent, jeez, I don't know where that one would have been. But anyway, like I said, this one was just totally for fun. Let's just come in here and talk about the update and... I'm going to be doing even more Nightmare and stuff and I'm going to be celebrating and who knows what the future is for this channel, but I hope it's just even more Phasmophobia, so I hope you all enjoy. So if you're still here, thank you so much for watching. Remember to like and subscribe and I will see you all next time.